we didn't want, if, if, if the hose blew, if we had one valve for two cylinders on a side and one hose blew, we'd lose control of both cylinders. Yeah, it makes we sense. Recover. So, and we ran the risk of the, cylinder, of the system dropping. So with independent valve servo You've got valve redundancy staff, and you can lose one and still not lose control of the system. Right. So, so that's what we did. Also the volume, the volumetric flow rates were insane as you could well imagine. <laughs> Sure. So to have one valve handle that would have been nuts, but to split it into two parts made it work. So nice. we did that at work. So the strain gauge information, the tension load in this in the cylinder rod fed back into the control system, but it also fed into a safety system. We had a trigger if the tension should go below some set point. So you were so tensioning it against itself, kind of, since you were doing it. Well, okay. if if your if your system needs to be at not only seventy five thousand pounds per rod, and let's say you're lowering and you hang up on something or you bind somehow, and you, you your tension starts to fall away. Yeah, it makes from sense. From seventy five thousand pounds tension to seventy, sixty five, sixty fifty thousand pounds of tension, that's still a lot of tension. But it's heading towards zero. Yeah, that makes and sense. then it's heading into compression. <laughs> Which yeah, you so already told me what They had a tension set point where if the tension should fall below some preset value, and I don't know what the value was, uh, it would again shut the system down, shut the show down, because you were heading towards trouble and breaking everything. It sounds like yeah. yeah. But when they first got things set up. They had to use a giant crane to take these giant cylinders and bring them into the into the theater from above and lower them in. I would imagine they would need that again if they had to ever pull that one out of the wall. Yes, they would. But but there's always construction in Vegas, so there's oh, always okay. a giant crane nearby. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> but two things happened. One, they dropped the cylinder. Fuck. And I, I, I think many, many pants were shitted that day. 